Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today's story is Pwned Internet Print Jobs. A few days ago, I had a story about three German researchers that released a lot of detail about different security vulnerabilities affecting a number of printers. This story is very similar. A few days ago, a gray hat hacker that goes by the alias of Stack Overflowing was able to successfully send a evil print job to over 160 thousand different network printer devices. Now, he wasn't actually doing this to do anything evil. Actually, if your printer got this print job, it essentially was kind of a joking printout that said you ought to take your printer off the internet. A number of media outlets were able to interview this uh, unknown gray hat hacker, and he shared how he did this. And in fact, he used pretty simple tools. For instance, he used a well-known network or internet scanning tool called ZMap to look for open internet-based printing protocols. These are protocols that run on port 9100, 631, and 515, and they're things like the internet printing protocol. Long story short, he just basically searched the internet for any uh, printers that were listening for print jobs, and he wrote a little bit of C code to send a print job to those printers, kind of to illustrate how easy it is to exploit these type of uh, open print services. In any case, I just thought it was an interesting, slightly amusing illustration of how vulnerable online printers were, especially in context of that previous uh, print security vulnerability story from before. Now, just so you know, this type of prank is actually illegal. Technically, this particular person is uh, gaining unauthorized access to a computer device. In this case, it looks like he really didn't have any malicious intentions. He really was just doing this funny looking print job that had some humorous ASCII art warning people to lock down their printers. Nonetheless, I hope people that actually got this print job take the opportunity to think about uh, their printer security. If you're not actually purposely uh, exposing print services to the internet for some sort of printing service, you probably should lock down that port and have your printer behind a firewall. At the very least, even if you have to expose the print services to external folks, you can use modern firewall policy to uh, limit that to certain users, certain IP addresses addresses, or in some cases even use VPN to protect your print services. Anyways, just an interesting and slightly humorous story. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.